I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss polar equations for circle. The question here is identify and graph the equation r equals to 2 sin theta. Now r equals to 2 sin theta is given to us as a polar equation. We need to identify what type of graph can it result into. So one way is to write it as a rectangular equation. So we'll convert this to a rectangular equation. Since we are more familiar with uh, rectangular equations, right? So when I say rectangular equation, it means what? It means in terms of x and y, that is what it means. And as you know, the conversion into x and y is kind of like this. Uh, x, I should say r, uh, okay, so we could say x equals to r times cos theta, y equals to r times sin theta, and the ratio y over x is tan theta. So that is kind of conversion between these angle and x and y, and also r square is equals to x square plus y square. Now these are the things which help you to convert polar equations to rectangular form. You may sometimes need some more te uh, trigonometric identities to do so, but for this example, I think uh, this will be enough. So we are given the equation r equals to 2 sine theta. Now we know what r square is. So it's a good idea to multiply by r on both sides. So if I multiply by r on both sides, I get 2 times r sine theta, right? Now that is r square equals to 2 times r sine theta is y. So I could write this as y, correct? r square could be written as x square plus y square. So I will write this as x square plus y square, that is r square is x square plus y square equals to 2 times y. Now we can bring this y to the left side. So we get x square plus y square minus 2y equals to 0. At this stage, some of you must remember this completing the squares method, right? So let's complete the squares for y square minus 2y. So we get x square plus y square minus 2y. How do we complete it? Half of 2 is 1, add and subtract 1, right? On both this, or add 1 on both sides, okay? So if I add back 1 on both sides, this is what I get. And now we can write this as x square plus uh, y minus 1 whole square equals to 1, right? So what do we get? We get an equation which is definitely in rectangular form. And the equation is, let me rewrite this equation here. x square plus y minus 1 whole square equals to 1. Now, what does this remind you of? That is going to help you to graph also, right? So, this is a circle with center. Let's say center is at point uh, x value is 0, y value is 1, and the radius is 1, correct? Radius is, is 1. So, that is the circle. Now we can actually sketch this circle. So that is how we could graph such a polar equation by converting it to uh, the rectangular form, right? So the circle here has moved or translated to the point zero, 01 as the center. That is to say one unit up, right? So, so we have a circle here, move one unit up, kind of like this. The center is displaced which is one unit up, right? So, so on a polar coordinate, you will see that this is your polar axis, correct? And the center is one unit up, up from, from the pole. So this point is, is zero, and this point here is at two, right? So that is how you will get a sketch for the given function, right? Which is, r equals to 2 sine theta. Now as a practice, uh, you can try what will be the result for r equals to, let us say, 
minus 4 cos theta, right? So I'm just changing the, the numbers here, trigonometric ratio instead of sine, I'm taking cosine. The method followed will be exactly same. You can multiply by r on both the sides, but this time it will be r cosine theta, that is to say x, right? So you, when you complete the squares, you'll complete the squares for x, and what do you expect? You expect a circle which has moved a couple of units along the horizontal side. Do you see that, right? So work this out. So what happens nearly is, if you sketch graphs of such equations, which are kind of uh, r equals to a sine theta, right? Or r equals to a cosine theta, what will you notice? You will notice that all these graphs result into one thing that is a translated olimerite transformed circle. Is it okay? So that is what you will notice, right? So here is an example. You can explore this and then generalize your statement what will that circle have as its center or what will be the radius of that circle, right? So you could generalize those things after exploring and expanding these expressions the way we did, rather converting them to rectangular form and then completing the squares to get the equation of the circle. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.